Alright guys, so uh, we're going to be doing kind of a weird review today. This is the Transformers 86 uh, Starscream. Uh, also, because if somebody keeps nagging me about it, I don't really normally do this, but this is a Hasbro product from Slash Target uh, to Karak Tomi. So there you go, I just did it. Sponsor me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, uh, here we have Starscream. Now, this is going to be more of a lesser review and more of a comparison between the two Starscreams and like like half a review, half a comparison, and half like an access, like an uh, basically an upgrade kit. Not like an upgrade kit, but like an accessory pack for Starscream. So he is, uh, Starscream, by the way, is number, number 12 in the 86 line. Just one to one off. So we're gonna be looking at star. So we're gonna look at star screen first, then the chair and the accessories. But you know, right now we're gonna look at the box, all right? And then we're gonna look at the, the comparison between the two. And I'll have this Megatron and the chair probably in the background because it'd be funny. But uh, real quick, let's look at the box. So let me move the chair. Let me do the star screen. So here is his box. It is humongous. Well, kind of humongous here, star screen for you. It's not too big. I mean, honestly, it's a pretty nice box. Honestly, if you take a good look at that nice smirk, you know, just before he gets blasted by Galvatron, but honestly, it is a pretty nice box. And I'm going to say my opinions on if you should actually get this toy and, like, is it actually worth it. So, yeah, here's the side view of that art. We have Ramjet and, uh, it's Rust, I think. One of these, you know, I, mean, I, don't, really, I don't really know the Conehead's name, I'll be honest, but, uh, Let's get rid of this box for now. But, uh, alright. So, let's look at Starscream now. Now, here is Starscream. And right now, we're I'm gonna do a quick... We're gonna do the comparison portion of this video between the two. Now, here are the Starscreams. Now, what are the actual differences between the two? Visibly, they're pretty similar on camera, I noticed. But... If kind of close up, you can see that Studio Series Screamer here has a more darker face. His face is a lot darker. He's a little more vibrant than the Studio Series. Than the Studio Series, a little more vibrant in the blue area, if you could see, if you could see in the sunlight, and a little more vibrant in the red category. Sally, my star scream got a bad print, and this is bothering me. So yeah, mine got screwed over. Which is fine with me, I guess. But, uh, also, one more other thing. He also is lacking the, the leg wing detail on the Lego and Starscream, which is kind of weird. In place of for these more, will be more visible in, in jet mode gray panels on the back. Yeah. But, uh, oh, oh, yeah, also he does have null rays, which are just, uh, on the back of the throne here. Let me pop them off. We'll pop off all the accessories in a couple of seconds, but, yes, he does come with two pairs of null rays. Probably... Two pairs of null rays for Star Scream here. Here is null rays. Think about giving these to Hot Link. Because, you know, he's not using them or anything. But yeah, here's null rays there. Basically, now I actually look at the figure side by side fully now. I, he is a little, he is a bit of a darker shade of gray I'm noticing. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but he's a bit of a darker shade of gray too, Star Scream. That's cool. So yeah, also of course the only the only actual differences in terms of like articulation between the two are it's just the hands on Starscream here can move. But virtually that's it. That's the only difference between articulation. But like virtually all the articulation are shared between the two. And that's it. Nothing else. And now that's I'm done with the comparison, so I'll compare more in jet mode later. But uh yeah, let's give her Star Scream here. But uh, let's let's look at what people probably bought this set for. Let's just let's take a look at what the, the people probably bought the set for. The chair and the parts. So here's the chair. Now how you store away all this stuff is that the crown plugs in up here. The uh, and pop the cape real quick. The, the cape will pop in right there, and the, his null rays will basically pop in on the sides. And the null rays of his other of his uh, shoulder pads and stuff are stored down here. Because, yeah, they store down there. So now, let me just basically undo all this real quick. Put the crown on. Well, not the crown on real quick. But I'm just going to basically put all the stuff 
on the ground for now. Off camera, I'm basically popping on. Sorry if I sound a little rushed. I want to get this review out. Basically, pop these out. Pop them out. There we go. And uh, yes, he can sit in this room. So let me get him in a sitting position real quick. Put this up. Set him down. So if you want, you can have... But uh, it's kind of hard to get him to sit in there with his uh, back kibble. So if you want, you can have Starscream sitting in Megatron's chair. Which people aren't probably going to use this for. We all know people are going to use this for. Let's get Starscream out of here. People are probably going to 100% have the great and mighty Megatron sitting in his throne. Which, uh, there we go. I'm just going to have him in the background now. Hope that doesn't bother people. Too much of that Megatron is just sitting in the background of a chair. He's just gonna be there. Don't mind him. So yeah. Oh yeah, real quick, let's look at the chair's details so Megatron can sit there for now. But honestly, the chair sculpt is actually really nice, honestly. I mean, I, w I do wish there was more like little like greeblies on the sides of these, like a little more tiny little details. That would be freaking, that would be cool, like little buttons and stuff. But like overall, they did a really nice job on molding this chair. Even in the hollow bits, if you could see in there. But they did a really good job at molding the chair, in my opinion. You know? It also has a good weight to it. But, uh, back to Starscream and his coronation gear. If we have him sitting in the background. Hope you guys aren't bothered too much about Megatron's presence. But, uh, yeah, back to Starscream. Now, uh, you do, you, you do need to pop off his null rays to pop these on. Now these null rays out of the bot, uh, out of the package will actually be separated from the shoulder pads, so there is some assembly required before doing this. So it's very simple. You just pop it on. Uh, you can't use these null rays for jet. Well, actually, I think you can, but uh, it doesn't look right. But uh, yeah, we can pop on these. So what you're gonna want to do? I don't. I think it's just virtual. Yeah, it's just the same thing on both sides. So it doesn't really matter what side is left and what side is right. So I'm going to just pop these off. So you got to pop off Starscream's no Riz. And what you can do with these, basically, and how you store these away. Sorry, Megatron. You basically turn this around and you just pop them in, basically. There's a reason why I'm at an angle for some for uh, reasons. You can, I actually pop Megatron's sword back here. Because I don't put it anywhere else, so I just pop it back there and have it at an angle. So yeah, make a try to sit back down over there. So, yeah. And now, how do you pop everything on, you uh, Skywarp guy, whatever your name is? You ask. Uh, it's easy. You take this. The peg is gonna go into there. Got to angle it. Gotta get it to work. Bam. This side. Get the one of there. Bam. We got shoulder pads now. And around. Undo this. Cape. Peg. Plug them like that. And of course, the part we all waited for, we've all been waiting for, there it is, his crown. There we go. And now Starscream is ready to get blasted by Galvatron. <laughs> so there he is. There's no height differences between the two now. He just has bigger shoulder pads and a crown. That's it. Now, uh, the art, his articulation is the same. There is no, like, there, I mean, I, no, no, not really. No. His articulation isn't hampered by anything. I mean, I guess, no, no, actually, yeah, his articulation isn't hampered at all. He can still move how he used to. I mean, I think the only thing that's going to hamper articulation is the cape. And that's really it. And the crown a little bit, but not, not really my much. But uh, the cape's gonna hamper some of your movement if you're thinking about getting some crazy poses, which most people, I most people are probably gonna put them in the classic coronation stance, which is gonna be this. Let me see if we can do it real quick. 
Uh, also, one more thing, the cape has a hinge on it for this. For you can push it out like that, and kind of have Starscream move this out of the way. Just hang it open like that. And you can have Starscream like this. There you go. Yeah, Starscream doing the stance. Yeah. Honestly, it's a good set, honestly. It's pretty good. It's pretty decent. So, yeah. Now, uh, real quick, I'm not going to actually transform Starscream on camera. I'm actually going to just, real quick, pop him into jet mode, him and the other version. So, after we do that, we'll... Be right back, alright? Be right back. Wow, and I'm back. Look at that. Starscream in jet mode. Alright, here the two are. Now, what are the differences? Let's see here. Uh, so, okay, let's take a look at them. So, the difference between the jet modes I'm noticing, right off the bat, is that on the, uh, the, the Studio Series version... Oh, come on. Sorry, my stand is just... So on the uh, Studio Series Starscream, his white stripe is a little thicker. This, so we're, we're going for the wings to the front. So it's, so the back wings there, there's no there's no detail now. That's gone. Now on the the wing parts, the stripe on the wing, the white part, it might be because it's lighter, but I believe it is a lot it's thicker. And the Decepticon symbols are a lot bigger. Now if we go down here. We can see that we now have uh, gr these gray bits here instead of them not being painted on the other version. And then we go down some more. I believe that's where the, the differences actually stop. Yeah, for the most part, they're relatively the same. I think that this Star Scream is just a bit lighter than, the, than this one. He's a lot lighter in the blue, obviously, if you can see there. And I think his red is a little more vibrant. Like, honestly... His pre he's, he's an overpriced Voyager who comes with a bunch of little plastic bits and the throne. Now, honestly, I will say it. If you're going to buy this, don't get it for Starscream. Get it for the throne. <laughs> Starscream's good and all. Like, he's fun, Starscream and his coronation gear, but the throne is way super cool. And, like, pretty... And, like, it's actually really, like, helpful if you want to make... Like, fill out a Decepticon scene, and you don't know what to use, so just use that in the background. But, I gotta say, I don't know if Starscream here is worth it. He's virtually the same as, as Earthrise here, who I didn't even transform. Uh, he's virtually the same as Earthrise Starscream. His paint apps aren't as good as Earthrise Starscream, seeing that oh, some people's copies are having the same problem as mine. And that's, that's, that's right out of the box, too. I didn't even do that. That was not painted by me. That's out of the box, too. So, I'm a little mad at that. Boy, so, I'm not sure if he's worth his $50 price tag that he is. I mean, I can't really complain, because I think over here, he's not supposed to be out yet, where I'm living. At the Walmart I got him at, he's not supposed to be out yet, so I can't complain too hard. But, uh... If you want to get them, yeah, get them for, like, the throne, honestly. Get them for the throne, and if you don't have Starscream. That I already have Starscream. Get them if you don't have Starscream or, his, or the throne, or, like, a throne. Seriously, that's all you should get it for. Nothing else. But that's just my opinion. What's yours? Comment down below. This is me signing off. See you next time. Goodbye.